Hi, I'm Jared George with the Red Power Team. In this video, we're going to be covering how to set up your variety tracking prior to harvest season. So one thing that we want to keep in mind is we've taken our planting data, we've read it into desktop software, we've exported it, onto a USB stick before we insert that to the Pro 700 for your, in your combine. So don't take it directly from your planting tractor and put it into the Pro 700. Your variety tracking is not going to work correctly if we do that. We have to read it into desktop software and export it into the harvest format. So make sure you're using our supported USB stick to do this as well. Um, if you don't have one of these, you can get them at our parts counter. Uh, just make sure that you're using that before we put that into the Pro 700. So what we're going to do is with the Pro 700 powered off, we're going to insert our USB stick into the side. And then we're going to power our Pro 700 on. So at this point, there's nothing that you need to do as far as importing data. As the Pro 700 fires up, it's going to import and push that variety tracking information uh, into the Pro 700. So this is going to import your grower farm and field that you guys had set up in planting season and it's going to bring that variety information that you guys had set up on planting season as well into the Pro 700 at that point. So once the Pro 700 fires up, it's going to default to our run screen 1. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump to our run screen 2 and at this point we're going to look at our grower farm and field. You guys should notice that I have blank spaces right now. Since I exported my grower farm and field and variety data, I should be able to select grower, hit select, and find the grower farm and field for the variety information uh, that we had designated towards. So you guys should see multiple fields and each field is gonna have the variety information that you guys had input for spring. So we selected our grower farm and field, and now I'm gonna to jump to my run screen five. So run screen five is what we have set up for our variety tracking page. In our past combine clinics, we've created some combine quick reference guides. Uh, what I'd encourage you guys to do is, is go and take a look at these before season. Uh, there's a lot of information, uh, but pertaining to this run screen five, we have set a page that we have our example of recommended run screens and this shows you how to set run screen 5 up just like I have it in this tutorial. Uh, we also have a video on our YouTube channel that refers to um, how we go in and we edit these layouts so make sure and check that out so you're familiar with how to edit the run screen layouts on the Pro 700. So we have loaded our variety information and we've set up our run screen 5 to where we can see this information. So what you can see here is I have farm, I have my field name, I have variety, and you can see that it says none right here. I want you guys to understand that it's not going to show you the variety that you're harvesting until we start harvesting crop. I have my variety tracking on in auto, and then I have my, my moisture, instant moisture, and I have my yield dry. And you can see on my coverage map and my yield map that I have a map of the, the farm and field with the varieties that I have in this field. If you cannot see this map, what we'd want to do is we'd want to come over to layer. And if zoom type says auto, it might be too far away from the field so you won't be able to see that field. So if you guys are sitting in your shed and you want to check your maps, you can come in and choose layer and we can choose zoom type and we're going to change that to field. And then if you guys don't have color and it's set to outline, you're going to notice that it brings the shape of the field up but it doesn't have any color, it just has an outline. So we can go into layer and we can change outline and set it to color. And now what you'll notice is we have our variety map on the page. If you select legend, along the bottom here we should see a variety option. And if I select my variety option, it 
it gives me a list of the two varieties in this particular field. So it's a good way to come in prior to season and make sure that the farm and fields have the correct variety information that we brought in from spring. So there's one thing that we really stress during our combine clinics, and I want you guys to make sure that you take note of this. We want to make sure that we're shutting variety tracking off before we start doing our yield and our moisture calibrations, okay? And I'm going to show you how to do that on the Pro 700. It's very simple to do. You just really need to make sure that we're doing it before we do those calibrations or they're not going to be accurate. So if we want to turn variety tracking off prior to our calibrations, all we have to do is come to our run screen 5 and where we see our on and auto, we just select the on and it's going to turn to off. So once variety tracking turns off, you will not have automatic variety tracking and that's when we perform our yield calibrations and moisture calibrations. To turn it back on, we just select the soft touch button and now we have on and auto and we're back using our variety tracking. You can also edit the colors if you guys want to see a different color than just blue. You're able to edit the color and change that up so it kind of makes more sense to you or you can at least see a more definitive line of where your varieties are split. And I'll show you how to do that. So I'm going to edit my run screen 6 quick and I'm going to put, go to toolbox, go to layout and then I'm going to select my run screen 6 and I'm going to, for right now, I'm just going to find variety legend variety color legend now if I hit the back tab go back to my run screen 5 I still see I have that blue color if I jump to my run screen 6 I can change my variety color legend from blue palette to a custom palette and what you'll notice now when I jump back to run screen 5 that my variety has changed colors and you guys can see you know where that variety split is just for a visual um, a lot easier with the two color differences this way so that's an option if you guys want to check that so this is how we come in prior to harvest and set up our variety tracking information uh, we encourage you guys to do this before you go out for the first day uh, to make sure that you're getting that variety information in as you need so if you guys have that data and you want to check it um, in your shop and you don't have your combine out yet you can do that by following the steps that I've shown you guys on the Pro 700 display. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you find it helpful um, and you can use some of these tips prior to season. Uh, make sure and check us out. Uh, check out our Red Power Team YouTube channel uh, or check out our website at redpowerteam.com. Thanks again.